Hey, it's Eddie and welcome to another edition of Stuff and Things. Today I'm going to be restoring this RV. Yeah, no I'm not. This thing's a piece of crap and it's all trashed. So basically I picked this thing up for a thousand bucks. And the reason I bought it was because a lot of the internal parts are good. The AC, the fridge, the trailer itself is actually probably pretty good. Um, but as you can tell, this thing has been trashed. It was flipped on the freeway. Some guy was selling it and it had all the parts I need for my RV build, so that's why I, I picked it up. Um, I'm gonna show you why these things are so crappy and why you should never buy one, because they're all built the same way and they're all garbage. So as you can see, it's just flimsy, junky metal. And if you look at this, this is only 15 years old. It's already rusted, it's already rotten, because all that has to happen is a little bit of water to get in. You've got this sheet metal, this crappy little corner bead and water gets in and this is what happens to all of them. They all rot. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of good parts in this. There's a lot of good parts in this. I can get the windows, um, windows, AC, fridge, toilet, you know, a whole bunch of good stuff. So I'm gonna start tearing it apart. This loft bed is designed to pop down. We're gonna use that in this step van RV. Um, Hopefully it's the same width, probably isn't, which means I'll need to trim it up and make some modifications, but that thing will pop down and provide a nice sleeping area. Uh, the door is actually surrounded by a solid metal frame on the edges, which is why the door and this back frame piece wasn't tweaked at all. So when I salvage this trailer, I'll probably leave that on because somebody may want it to rebuild theirs. As you can tell the windows, the windows are all still good. That uh, gives you an idea of how bad the front got munched where the kitchen is. And the cabinets in these things are junk anyways. But I'll salvage those gauges and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's get to it. Most of the deck off still got to pull the tanks but uh, took us about eight hours we basically stripped that whole thing let me show you what we got in the dumpster okay this is a six yard dumpster and pretty much all of that trailer fit in it with the exception of a few pieces um, and kind of that's where it belongs let me show you why Okay, so this is the type of stuff that they make these out of. These little staples, that's how they're held together. They're literally held together with these tiny little staples. It's crappy wood. Um, I mean, some of the stuff just came apart just by punching it or kicking it. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of manufactured RVs. Not all of them. Some of them are actually built with, you know, solid metal frames and whatever, but the majority of them are... They're pretty crappy, and the one we just tore apart was about twenty dollars to $25,000 when new. So, you pay so whoever bought that thing brand new paid twenty dollars to $25,000 for basically a trailer that was a piece of crap. But uh, we'll do something cool with it. Alright, thanks for watching.